this video I'm going to talk about valves. Now generally valves fall into one of two categories. You have your shut off valves like your uh, ball valves, your gate valves and diverter valves and then you have your check valves. I'm going to talk about the shut off valves first and we'll do another video for the check valves. Okay, your typical standard ball valve. Ball valves are really good. They're cheap. Um, they're cheap. Unbelievably cheap. Uh, and you can get them slip socket, slip socket. This one slip socket, slip socket. Or you can get them in threads, uh, pipe thread, like this. Uh, there is actually also buttress thread uh, ball valves, but nobody carries them. Uh, but they do exist. And we can convert these to buttress very easily if you need it. Uh, then you've got your true union ball valves. Now true union ball valves are the Cadillac of ball valves. They are really cool because two reasons. Number one, you can take them out like this. So if the valve goes bad, you don't have to cut out your pipe. You just unscrew this and you put the new valve in. But here's something that most people don't know. Sorry, about true union ball valves. They're adjustable. And you go, what? Okay. Normally in a ball valve, what this is what's called MIP, molded in place. The ball is actually put in there when the when the valve is molded, injection molded and you have a seal in there and you have no control over that seal and everybody knows that a ball valve leaks a tiny little bit if you have a ball valve under pressure over time you're going to get tiny little drips out of this and there's nothing you can do about it and this is what we accept this is just how it works however with the true union ball valve this ring right here you can tighten you can actually take this ring out i don't have the tool in front of me but you can take this ring out and there's the balls in here and you can actually there's a seal in here and you can actually tighten this ring or loosen it depending on how much of a seal you want if you want if you loosen it it makes the ball easier to turn if you tighten it, it makes it a little stiffer to turn but it gives you a better seal and you can rebuild it <laughs> that's what's really cool about these now of course they're a lot more expensive but in my projects I almost always use true union ball valves because of just all these features the idea of being able to rebuild it I can change the seal and I can if it goes bad or whatever if I just want to put a different valve in there I can just unscrew it from these uh, these are called tail pieces by the way everybody wants to know what they are and the other cool thing about true union ball valves is that they come with interchangeable tail pieces this is a slip socket this is a thread when you buy the true union ball valves they come with both normally when you buy a ball valve you either have to buy the threaded kind or you have to buy the slip socket kind and, and if you want to change it forget it you can't do it true union ball valves you can do it whatever you want and you can mix and match too like for example you can put a slip socket on one side and you can put the threaded on the other side nice thing about our true union ball valves is they're very easy to turn if you use some other people's ball valves you'll know that this is really hard ours are really easy to turn that's one of the reasons why i like them also our handles are uh, replaceable. If this handle goes bad, you can take it off and you can get a new one. So that's a real quick video on the different ball valves. And the next ones we'll do is the check valves. Okay, this is Eric at FlexPVC.com. Thank you for watching.